Hello everyone, this is Ron Williams uh, with Web Builder Templates. Uh, this is my first video, uh, so the first thing I figured I would tackle is something relatively simple, uh, but I have had some questions asked before about it on the proper way to install a template. And since my website, I, I do create templates, and there's some other great designers out there that also have some templates, um, I figured I'd make my first video on the proper way of installing it so everything works uh, smoothly. Um, the first thing obviously is you're going to have to once you get the template from wherever you're getting it um, whether it be one of Pablo's, one of mine or one of the other designers um, typically it's going to come in a zip folder and you're going to download that zip folder so what you're going to do what I would recommend is I'm big on organization so it's it'll save you a lot of time down the road um, I mean you can certainly download it to your desktop or wherever you'd like um, in my case for this example I created a folder in my documents I just simply labeled it WBC WB 16 templates and I've saved all the templates many of you see in here are, are some of Pablo's templates and uh, this particular template is one that I've created it's called grill house and so what I would recommend is that you try to keep things organized so in this case I downloaded this um, template into here it came in as a zip folder so the, so the first thing I'm going to do is after I've downloaded it I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and I'm going to use the extract all button um, it defaults automatically to the same folder that I'm in which is fine which is where I want it and I'm just going to go ahead and hit extract once that process has been completed, if I go back up to the main folder here, you can see now over here that that zip file has been extracted. Um, let's take a quick look at that. Inside the templates that I provide, um, there's going to be, could be a variety of different things inside. Obviously, the number one thing is going to be the template itself, which is indicated with the file that ends in WTP. Um, that is the template file itself that contains everything from in basically the project file including all the images everything's in that one file and we're going to open that up in WB um, also included with mine there's a change log if there's been changes made there's typically a PDF file in there that contains uh, some basic information about what fonts were used in the template any extensions some information about images etc is in there and then in this particular case this template has two extensions that I've created that's used in it these are also right here as you can see are included with the template um, in, in a case like this uh, what I would recommend obviously is before you install this template and use it if there are extensions or if there are fonts that you do not have installed I would tell you to install those first prior to loading this template otherwise you're going to get some errors pop up telling you that you don't have this particular extension installed and of course your fonts are going to look different because they're not installed but once you've gotten to this point you've installed everything you're ready to go the next step I would tell you is um, again I'm a big proponent of being organized so in my documents here you can see I got a lot of folders I just created a folder called project folder over here it's blank this is where I'm going to save once I import this template I'm going to save it here and any changes I make to the template I'm going to save it here now project folder I would tell you to give it the name of your whatever it is you're working on so if you've bought a template that you're going to use for your business or someone else's business you know I would name the folder in the name of the business so it'd be easy to find and keep it all kind of organized so let's go over here we're going to open up WB um, the first thing that you want to do is simply you're going to go up to file and you're going to pick new website from template now when you load this up here at the top of the category you may have one or more categories um, as you can see here I've got five different categories um, it's up to you where you you want to pick a category of where to save this template now in my case I, I create different categories to save them in 
In this case, because this is a WB16 template, I'm just, and it's one I created, I'm going to go ahead and stick it in this folder, template site 16. Um, as you can see, I've got one other template in under that particular category. But this is where I want to save it so that in the future when I want to come and load it, I know where to, where to find it. So we're going to go to install. And then what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to where we unzip that folder. In this case, I put it in um, Web Builder 16 template folder. And as you can see, here's the grill house template. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and go into there. And as you can see, there's the WTP file. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and hit open. And what's going to happen is WB is going to load the template. Once it's loaded, as you can see, it tells you that it's successfully installed. We're going to hit OK. Once you hit OK, you can see that it's been put under this particular category. If I hit OK again, what WB is going to ask you to do is to save the folder. So basically, like I said before, the template contains the WBS project file along with all the images that go along with that project file, all in one file. So that's why it's asking you to save it. So what I'm going to immediately do is go back to that folder I created that is simply named it project folder right here. And that's where I'm going to save the WBS file. And I'm just going to hit save. Once it saves, it will load the template into WB and you're ready to go. Um, if we go back to the project folder, you can see that it created. Let's go ahead and view this large icons you can see that it it saved the WBS file which is the project normal project file it saved a folder called images and then of course anytime you save your project folder it saves um, the images associated with that project that's why there's two sets of folders here with images in them um, and that is pretty much it. Once you go back, to, you are ready to make your changes to the template. And the only thing I would urge you to do is when you make any changes and you save it, um, that you save it under a different name. Um, and I would tell you to save often. From my experience of doing this for a while, um, anytime you make any major changes, it's always good to save them. Um, just in case something happens, you always have a backup, and that's that's just good practice. And I would tell you to save, you know, try to keep everything organized in that same folder. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to rock and roll. If there's anything else question-wise you have about templates, please drop me a line or shoot me an email, and I'd be happy to answer them.